Hello everyone this is Mamta Moon and today we learn and solve self practice exercise questions 1 to 4 self practice 6i chapter 6 chapter name is decimals of class 6 of new learning composite mathematics textbook if you have not subscribed my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos let's get started and solve some questions what we learn today today we learn and solve self practice exercise questions 1 to 4 self practice 6i and chapter name is decimals and topics are use of decimals use of decimals in money and convert rupees into paisa and paisa into rupees let's solve some questions now we solve question number 4 question number 4 is find the value of this Amount in addition and subtraction. First bit A is nine rupees seventy five paisa plus thirty five rupees sixty nine paisa. We have to add these two amounts. So nine rupees seventy paisa plus thirty five rupees sixty nine paisa will be first we add this paisa part paisa column that is seventy five paisa and sixty nine paisa and seventy five paisa and sixty nine paisa. We get five plus nine is fourteen. Four and take the carry over one and add one carry over plus seven plus six. One plus seven is eight. Eight plus six is fourteen. So we get one hundred forty-four pesa. And one hundred forty-four pesa. This hundred pesa goes to rupees column. So hundred pesa each one rupees. So We add one rupees with nine rupees and thirty-five rupees. We get one plus nine is ten. Ten plus thirty-five is forty-five. So we get forty-five rupees, forty-four pesa. So we get nine rupees seventy-five pesa plus thirty-five rupees sixty-nine pesa will be forty-five rupees forty-four pesa. Now subtract. Now, now solve question number second bit B. That is subtraction. Seventy-two rupees thirty-five pesa minus nine rupees sixty-eight pesa. We have to subtract these two amounts. So seventy-two rupees thirty-five pesa minus nine rupees sixty pesa sixty-eight pesa will be first we subtract this amount in pesa column. That is thirty-five pesa minus sixty-eight pesa. We can't subtract thirty-five pesa with sixty-eight pesa. So we have to take the Take one rupees from rupees part. So now we get one rupees is hundred pesa. So hundred pesa plus thirty five pesa will be one hundred thirty five pesa. Now subtract one hundred thirty five pesa with sixty eight. So we get one hundred thirty five pesa minus sixty eight is sixty seven pesa. That is from here we have to take the carry over. Now this five becomes fifteen. Fifteen minus eight is seven, and now this three becomes two. That is twelve. Twelve minus six is six. One hundred thirty-five pesa minus sixty-eight pesa is sixty-seven pesa. Now here, as we take the carryover from rupees parts, now this seventy-two rupees will be seventy-two rupees minus one rupees. That is that will be seventy-one rupees. Now, the seventy-two rupees becomes seventy-one rupees. Seventy-one rupees minus nine rupees will be sixty-two rupees. So we get seventy-two rupees thirty-five pesa minus nine rupees sixty-eight pesa equal to sixty-two rupees sixty-seven pesa. Now C five rupees thirty-six pesa plus eighty-seven pesa. First we sub add these. We have to add these two amounts. Five rupees thirty-six pesa, five point six three six rupees plus eighty-seven pesa. First, we add these pesa parts. That is thirty-six pesa plus eighty-seven pesa. Eighty-seven pesa will be zero point eight seven pesa. In rupees, zero rupees eighty-seven pesa. So five rupees five point three six rupees plus. Zero rupees eighty-seven pesa. Zero point eight seven pesa will be. First we add this pesa part that is thirty-six pesa plus eighty-seven pesa will be seventy-six 
6 plus 7 is 3. 6, 6 plus 7 is 13. And we add that carry over 1 with 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 8 is 12. So we get 36 pesa plus 87 pesa is 123 pesa. Now 123 pesa, 100 plus 23 pesa. So we write 23 pesa in pesa part and 100 pesa will be 1 rupees. Take the carryover 1 rupees which in rupees part. Now add 1 rupees with 5, we get 6 rupees. 1 rupees 5 plus 5 rupees is 6 rupees. So we get 6 rupees 23 pesa, 6.23 rupees. So we get 5 rupees 36 pesa plus 87 pesa is 6 rupees 23 pesa, 6.23 rupees. Solve question number four. Question number four is find DB. Find the value of subtraction in the amount. DB is 18, 18 rupees minus 74 pesa. This is rupees column, this is pesa column. And 18 rupees pesa 00, zero and 74 pesa. 0 rupees 74 pesa. <coughs> Now we know 1 rupees is 100 pesa, so here 00, zero rupees, so we have to take 1 rupee from this column rupees. So from 18 rupees, 1 rupees, take 1 rupees from 18 rupees, that is here in 1 rupees will be 100 pesa, 100 pesa minus 74. Now it is 100 minus 74 will be 10 minus 4, 6 and 9 minus 7, 2. So it is 26. This pesa is 100, 100 pesa. 100 minus 74 is 26. Now here in, in, from 18 rupees, we have taken 1 rupees. So here 18 minus 1 will be 17. This 18 is 18 minus 1. That is 17 rupees. So it is 17 rupees 26 pesos. So answer is 17 rupees 26 pesos. Seventeen rupees twenty-six pesos. Now question number E B, hundred rupees minus eight rupees ninety seven pesa. This is rupees column. This is pesa column. This is hundred rupees. Hundred rupees zero zero pesa. There is no pesa. That is zero zero pesa. And this is eight rupees ninety seven pesa. Now we have to subtract uh, eight rupees ninety seven pesa from hundred rupees. Here uh, zero zero and here ninety seven. We, can, we cannot uh, subtract 97 from 00, zero, so we have to take 1 rupees from this uh, rupees column. That is 100 rupees. Here we have to take 1 rupees from 100 rupees. That is 1 rupee. We know 1 rupees is 100 pesa. 1 rupees is 100 pesa. So now this 00, zero will be 100. Now 100 minus 97 is 3. 9 minus 9 is 0. And this is 0, 0,3 pesa. And here uh, one, from 100 rupees we have taken 1 rupees. So this 100 will be changed to minus 1. That is 99 rupees. Now this 99 minus 8. Now this is 91 rupees. 91 rupees 3 pesa. Now this. 100 rupees minus 8 rupees 97 pesa is 90, 91 rupees 0, 0,3 pesa. Now 100 rupees minus 8 rupees 97 pesa is equal to 91 rupees 
If you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, then please subscribe my YouTube channel. And if you have any doubts, then please write in comment section, and I will reply. Keep learning, keep watching and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.